Moving on quickly, I want to touch on some football news. It's been sort of confirmed through multiple sources that Eric Ten Hag is due to be the next manager of Manchester United. And this is an article courtesy of ESPN that kind of covers it, featuring the ever dour Mark Ogden um, here as the headpiece. But yeah, man, it looks like the guy that we've all been kind of pining for in the United fan base is actually going to get the job. It looks like for once... You know the united hierarchy are going to do the right thing and actually hire the guy that we actually want as opposed to hiring the guy that they want um too late basically because it feels like every managerial appointment we've had from david moyes i felt like has come too late or come too soon right um you know when 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 Sarah ferguson went the perfect person to get after as ferguson would have been Mourinho. we don't we get moyes then we get Moyes, we don't give him the help or the support he needs and then he kind of flops and then we get who van gal then we get Mourinho. Then we get. I mean, it was always too late. I felt like Mourinho. You're getting him. You know, um, you're getting him kind of a few years past his kind of peak powers. Van Gaal, you're getting him a bit on the wane, and also a manager who needs to have an infrastructure around him to be successful. It didn't work out. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer comes in. You think you can just vibes it and kind of you know do the whole kind of United DNA in malarkey, and that obviously didn't work because you can't DNA your way into winning a title or challenging for the Champions League. It's just not going to happen. The competition is just too fierce. So now it feels like, weirdly enough, it, yeah, now it kind of feels like we've been backed into a corner. United are so shit now that there's no other option but to fix it because what you tried before isn't going to work, especially considering how well considering how much other teams around us have improved and considering the fact that every other team in the world with the exception of maybe a few has the same structure that we're trying to implement you know in terms of having a director of football having a way you want to play having a recruitment process that's you know watertight having us you know and then having the way you play inform the, the the managers you hire and the players that you sign like just basic stuff and we've never had that so because we've been such an abject failure for the past nine years or whatnot right since the glazers have been in charge um or since the glazers have kind of taken full charge of the club since sex Ferguson retired it feels like we've been backed into a corner and it feels like finally hallelujah they've listened to reason and they've kind of decided to hire a manager and put an infrastructure around him that i feel like should steer us in the right direction Am I under the delusion that Eric Ten Hag is going to come in and have us winning the champion? Sorry, challenging for the league or winning the Champions League anytime soon? No, I think any United fan that thinks that is delusional. What most United fans, I feel like, want to see is just a team that plays like a team, a team that goes out there and you know bleeds for each other, that runs for each other, that plays entertaining football, that puts on a bit of a show. Youngsters coming up, like I don't know, whatever it may be. That's all we want to see as a as a as a club because we've been devoid of that for so long. The football's been so bad for so long, with the brief exception of some periods where Oli was in charge, some periods where Van Gaal was in charge. Each man just had their death spell where they've played good football, but largely it's been diabolical dire you know pull your eyes out with by a spoon type of um football so hopefully Eric ten Hag does that and i think because ten Hag comes from ix and he comes from a system where you know a lot of he comes to a system where basically there's a lot of things that have to be put in place in and around him to make him successful and he's also the supreme boss i think him coming in is going to hopefully push us into changing the way that we kind of support managers in the same way, I feel like Ronaldo, when he signed for the club, he basically exposed how badly one we are as a football club. Yes, he might have not been the success on the pitch that we all hoped, but there's no denying Ronaldo's influence has definitely affected the way that we've kind of seen the season, the way we've kind of been wanting demanding more from the club. And now we're in a position where we're finally going to get our guy. And I'm hoping, fingers crossed, hoping that United board do the right thing and follow through, not only with the manager or hire, but also with the people in and around him. Because that I feel like is the most important part of this process, not only hiring the manager, but also getting him the right coaches, the right supporting staff to allow him to be as successful as he can um, at the club. But anyway, the article says as follows. Main and I said to finalize the appointment of manager so appointment of Eric Ten Hag as a club's next manager Ten Hag 52 who's interviewed by United last month had been on the four-man shortlist alongside Paris Saint-Germain's Mauricio Pochettino Spain's Luis Enrique Seville's Julian Lopetegui 
and Chelsea's two show and by me the Julian Nagelsmann were ruled out as being unattainable. Sources in England and the Netherlands have told ESPN that United have settled on Ten Hag as a new manager and that the Ajax manager is ready to leave Dutch champions and takes charge of all traffic in the season. It's crazy, right? That he's... I said this before in the Twitter space, but I definitely agree. I would think, again, yes, we are a historic club. We've won loads of trophies in the past, blah, 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 blah. But it could be argued that coming to United, especially considering the state they were in, with the players that we've got, the entitlement, the weird fan base, like, it legitimately is a step down. Legit. He's leaving Dutch champions. He's in a really tight um, two-team title race at the moment now. I think, you know, with, with PSV. Um, you know, they play in the Champions League every season for the most part. And he's coming to United. When, you know, most likely we're going to be out of the Champions League. We're not going to be challenging for the league anytime soon. And we're probably going to get knocked out of the domestic cups pretty soon because we do that often as well. So it's definitely, I feel like, not the easiest job to take if you're Eric Ten Hag, but it does maybe prove his ambition because he knows if he's able to come in and be moderately successful, right? Imagine if he wins a trophy in his first season, how much gas, how gas the fan base will be, right? How much his reputation will be bolstered. Yes, I don't accept, expect it or believe it will happen, but if that did happen, so it definitely is a calculated, it's definitely is a big risk, big step down, but also a calculated risk, I feel like. It says here, United's pursuit of the new manager has been led by the football director, John Murto, and technical director, Darren Fletcher. So I guess Darren Fletcher finally pulled himself away from the flipping training pitch and decided to go and actually do his job, which is great to see. I hope this continues for the long term. I hope we don't see Darren Fletcher on the flipping bench with the managers again anymore. I've had enough of that. Let's have the actual experts or in their field or the people that need to do their job doing their jobs, right? No more job for the boys, no more Mike Feelings, no more all these donuts out there. Just get them all out, clean, clean sweep, let the manager come in with his own people. If it doesn't work out, let the next guy come in with his own people. Just keep on going. Like, keep on going that way. Like every other big club does. I don't understand this idea that we have where we bring in all these, you know, I don't know. Let's just continue. Who have reported to Chief Executive Richard Arnold with Joint Chairman Joe Glazer having a final decision appointment. That I don't like. That's the thing I don't like. Because this is a big, I feel like, red flag. Richard Arnold still is the basically the guy that's in charge he's effectively ed woodward replaced you know this is basically ed woodward so john murto and thing have to report to him to get signed off and then he passes it on to joe glazer to get signed off to get final final sign off when really it should be football people doing the entire thing there should be no richard arnold there should be no joe glazer it should be whoever's on top of these guys because i still think john murto isn't necessarily the standout candidate to be the director of football of man united he's got you know his experience or his cv isn't as extensive as other directors of football out there darren fletcher as a technical director i guess other people have said most big clubs have an ex-pro um, sort of in that kind of role as a sort of like club liaison ambassador type person who can maybe speak to young players who maybe want to join the club or uh, the club is trying, trying to sign blah 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 but for sure if you're going to keep these guys then I would assume it would be, would be beneficial to get that's why maybe we're, we're doing the whole um, what's his face Ragnik role in it maybe that's why Ragnik is deciding to do the consultancy for two years to help these two out um, but in general, it should be John Murto, Darren Fletcher, and Ragnick. And these guys should be nowhere near. Richard Allen and John Lee should be nowhere near the direction of decision making of football. What they should be doing is signing off the checks. That's it. They should be you know, approving the wire transfers and whatnot, but they should be nowhere near the direction of football. So that's the only red flag I have. It continues. While some at United considered the PSG boss Pochettino, sources told ESPN Arnold and Glazers are in agreement that Ten Hag is the best candidate to replace interim manager of Ragnick, who's been in charge since December. Choice of the Oli Gunnar Solskjaer successor ultimately came down to a straight battle between Ten Hag and Pochettino, but the difficulties experienced by Pochettino at PSG this season combined with the potential cost of releasing him from his remaining 12 months of his contract at the Parc des Princes left the former Tottenham manager behind Ten Hag for both football and financial reasons. The interesting thing about Pochettino, I feel like is like obviously his reputation has somewhat been damaged during his time at PSG. No one can deny that. I also feel like he definitely needs another job after the PSG job to kind of recover, you know, repair his reputation because I still think he's a good manager. But, you know, some people out there have said, oh, his time has been and gone. He's kind of on the downward trajectory. I don't necessarily believe that. I feel like the same thing happened that Thomas Tuchel can happen to 
Pochettino, right? Just needs one good job after PSG to kind of remind people how good of a manager is because I feel like the PSG job is as toxic or the PSG club and, you know, the players there are as toxic as ours are, especially in terms of entitlement. And they've probably not won as much as them at all. Um, but the other thing I find interesting is that I think it was in January, there was a story that came out, I think Dunga Castle was saying where, I think it was the time where Pochettino appeared on Sky News and he was basically, it looked like trying to, you know, do that whole come and get me plea thing with the English clubs because he wasn't enjoying his time at PSG. He went to leave and then PSG got whiff of that and they basically, you know, put him in the, basically told him in un, no uncertain terms, you're not going anywhere. So you're going to be the manager, you're going to ride this out with us. So he was basically forced to stay in some roundabout way. And it feels like they've gone out of their way to not sack him, even though they know United need a manager because they knew he would immediately get another job, right? They've kind of put him in this sort of misery box, it feels like, because they're out of the Champions League. Um, they're going to be, you know, they're they're way behind, I think, in League 1 too. No, or they're not. Actually, they're way ahead, actually, in League 1. I'm pretty sure they're way ahead in League 1, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but obviously, the Champions League is a big thing over there because, you know, the league is kind of a bit of a misnomer because they've got the most money. So he's in a weird position. He kind of would have never got the job anyway, because the Glazers wouldn't want to pay his compensation fee or his get out of contract fee. And he's now in a position where he has to kind of stay and probably what, take a job or maybe sit on the sidelines for a bit because there won't be enough jobs out available when he does end up becoming available. Maybe Everton because Lampard probably not getting sacked. Who knows? But she had 50 initially being United's favourite candidate to play Solskjaer who was fired by United a month short of his third anniversary as manager. Too late, I feel like. The club were aware that Pochettino would be um, open to a move to Old Trafford after struggling to impose himself at a job at PSG. A PSG Champions League exit at the round of 16 against Real Madrid having led 2-0 in the tie did not help his cause with the United job. PSG's readiness to hold out for 15 million compensation package was another issue for United who are able to appoint Ten Hag if they put if they pay just 1.7 million. So clearly just a money thing in it with our club. You've got to love United. Uh, sources added that Rene Mollestein, glad to see that. First team coach on the Suez Ferguson from 2007 to 2013 is one candidate being considered as Ten Hag's assistant. The recruitment department at the club has also been told to find a shortlist of players in each position and present to the new manager, though he'll also be allowed to present new targets. That's pretty cool. And there's also talk about, you know, Van Persie being his assistant too, coming in. I'm glad. Whoever he wants to bring in, let him bring in. Clean sweep. Let's start again from scratch. I'm happy to see us going in the right direction and hopefully this kind of spells the beginning of some new interesting things at United. Fingers crossed, it. Fingers crossed.